according to the 2018 Zambia Demographic and Health Survey. The HIV epidemic in Zambia is driven largely by unprotected heterosexual transmission, which is sex between people of the opposite sex or between male and female. The primary factors in transmission include multiple and concurrent partnerships, low and inconsistent condom use, low coverage of medical male circumcision and mother-to-child transmission. The Zambian government, in its quest to mitigate the high infection rates in the country, introduced the pre-exposure prophylaxis program to reduce the rates of HIV infection. So this program, the pre-exposure prophylaxis program, started in 2018. That's when we incorporated it into our guidelines. And from 2018 up to today, we've been administering the oral. So people take oral antiretrovirals uh, every single day to avoid getting HIV. So the people who are initiated on PrEP are those who we consider to be high risk. So these people are those people who have um, multiple, multiple partners. It can be multiple concurrent partners. It can be those who engage in sex work. It can also be those who, um, who are married or are in a partnership with somebody who is HIV positive but they themselves are not HIV positive, so it already puts them at higher risk of HIV. The Zambian government, with the help of international cooperating partners, recently announced the coming of an injectable pre-exposure prophylaxis called Cabotagravia, or CAB-LA. Some Zambian citizens at high risk of HIV infection have welcomed government's move to introduce the HIV prevention injectable medicine. The six times a year injectable is a pre-exposure prophylaxis, PrEP. This simply means that the drug is used by the people who are HIV negative for prevention of infection and not HIV positive people. Yeah, I've heard of it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Uh, from what I've heard, it's um, used as a preventive drug from HIV. In most cases, in most cases I've actually heard of it is rip victims. That's the most that I've heard of it. Anything outside that would be, nah. But I've heard about it like three, four months ago. But I don't know how it works. Uh, what I know about Cup LA Kabele is an initiative to new HIV or HIV uh, prevention. Kabele is an um, injectable prep in short. Yeah, so concerning the people that can have it, it is only for those people that are HIV negative, both male and female. The long acting uh, injectable um, uh, prevention, pre preventive measure for HIV, it's something I feel every young person is going to run to it. It's every after two months. This is the name of the ARB, and LA is long acting. You will see at the end there, it's written injectable prep, right? So, the reason why we are calling it injectable prep is now we have different types of prep. Hey, the, 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 the one for injection, the method of uh, giving it sip. Injection, so you will say injectable prep, yeah, right? So Cabotegravir or Cab LA, uh, as we are using it now, is um, an injectable ARV, and this can either be used for treatment or it can also be used for prophylaxis. And when I say prophylaxis, I mean um, uh, being able to protect from getting HIV. Prep uh, or Cab LA has been known to have an efficacy of reducing HIV by 17, the chance of getting HIV by 79%. So that's really um, a, a good opportunity for somebody who is involved in risky behavior, as we call it in the HIV world, um, to reduce the chance of them getting HIV. Some members of the public, when asked if they can use Cabele, expressed mixed opinions on the use of the drug, giving reasons to their various reactions. Uh, issues of pill burden, like when it comes to um, adolescents and young people taking the pills, they always complain of 
it being a, a, something that's difficult for them and they say the fear is that there's inconsistent intake and they miss their time so i think the long acting one the injectable one would be very good in that they'll just have to come to the facility the health facility after i think two months if i'm not mistaken and i like the fact that now we have so many options on board so obviously it will be one of the reasons we'll see a reduction in new infections of hiv my personal aspect i can't because i'm not a fan of injection so i would prefer i'll give it the out or maybe advising other people who are able to use it because it's an option which one I should go for. The pressure of pills, taking pills every day is like youth of nowadays, you know what we always do. We drink, we do some stuff, we get high every day in whatever days. Mingaiva. Mingaiva, at the end, I can miss the day, I can skip to take the pill every day before the other the next day. Yeah. So for like the injection, it's very nice. It's quite the right. It's okay. It's cool. Okay, so the fact that it's a, it's it's not taken every day, unlike the one that is already um, out there, is a good thing. Um, question on whether I would use it or not. I'm not really sure. This sounds like a very very silly reason, but um, there are people that are freaked out by injections and I think I'm one of them six injections in the year is a little bit too much but aside from that I I would use it yeah I would you get it once every two months so meaning uh, you don't have to continue taking pills all the time it's once two months you get the, the next one the, the, the only problem with that one is you don't have to stop because once you stop you have to go back to the oral, the oral break yes so I think these are very good initiatives, especially for us young people who always want to be discreet, who don't want to find out what they're doing. And it's just good to have so many options because in as much as not everyone can also manage to take pills or have problems taking pills, and also not everyone is going to be able to take the same injection. So it's just good to have different kinds of prevention methods. It's very convenient compared to uh, the tablets because the oral prep uh, is quite difficult for some other people because you have to consistently keep up with the time. You're always thinking about what time am I going to take it. Sometimes you end up forgetting, but if you have an injectable, definitely it lives in you. Yes. So it's something that I'm going to, I would probably consider uh, as a preventive measure for HIV because first and foremost it's um, easy to adhere to it we just go and they give you one shot and especially if it's going to be at every facility in our in our in in, in our communities easy to be accessible to young people Kabele is a medication for people at high risk of hiv infection such as men and women the cell sex people with more than one sexual partner those that use injectable drugs, among others. Currently, most individuals at high risk of HIV infection are either on oral prep, condoms, voluntary medical male circumcision, among others. So, CAP is for people who don't have HIV. This is the, the genesis. You cannot be on injectable prep if you are positive. Because you'll be giving your body little medication which may make your, your, your virus to be very resistant yeah, to medication. So this is given to people at risk of contracting HIV from sex or injection drug use. So there, there are certain medications that uh, drug users, even if they take, it might not work for them because of the type of drugs they use, they might interact with um, the medicine and rendering the medicine ineffective. Uh, Carbotegravir is an injectable and it's long acting. Uh, what we mean by this is that when you take uh, Carbotegravir or Cab LA, um, the first dose you take today, then the next dose you take after four weeks. Thereafter, the, cons the consequent doses are taken every eight weeks. So, meaning it's injectable intramuscular. So we give it through the muscles using an, a, a syringe to inject the drug into your body. And then that um, dose, the first one, 
you take it today, the next one you take after four weeks, then thereafter it's every eight weeks. So it gives you a chance to not uh, encounter the health service so often as you would take on an everyday, the oral prep. Oral prep you take on a daily basis. Mariah Mulea is in a long distance relationship and has used oral prep before among other means of HIV prevention. She says she has been anxiously waiting for the long-acting injectable PrEP, which according to her will be easier to adhere to. So the consistency is where the challenge was with the, uh, with, uh, the pre-exposure prophylaxis. Yeah, so the consistency, you are, I, was, I would take it, then at some point I wouldn't take it because of maybe, because, especially because of the side effects it was giving me. But the more I'm not taking it, the more I would find myself at, uh, I would put myself at a higher risk of um, contracting the HIV virus. So the consistency is where the, the, the barriers are when it comes to PrEP. Kabele is an antiretroviral drug that blocks HIV from entering someone's cells. Studies have shown that it virtually eliminates someone's chances to get infected through sex and works well than a daily HIV prevention pill that's available for free in Zambia. So Zambia is one of the five countries that has been picked by PEPFAR to be, to be given this um, Carbotegrave or Car Carbele so that we can actually administer it as a preventive measure rather than a treatment measure to the people of Zambia. So what we've been doing as a program is trying to put things in place so that by the time the drug comes into the country, we're able to deliver it directly to the facilities that have been picked. So far, we are not, we are not going to go countrywide because the commodity that is available is not enough to go countrywide. So in the first phase, we're going to be in specific facilities and these will be shared with the, with the, with the public. And in those facilities, we'll be able to offer Kabele to specific groupings of people and again, that groupings of people will be shared with the public. And then um, thereafter, once we get more commodities, once the government purchases more commodities, we'll be able to scale up to the rest of the country. Kabele, once introduced, will help a lot of Zambians at high risk of getting HIV infection because of its high efficacy and easy to administer, which does not require daily intake of medication. It will, together with other methods of prevention, help reduce infection rates in Zambia, making the various targets set by the government and other stakeholders attainable for a better, healthier Zambian society. Just one highlight I would want to highlight to a lot of young people, just um, pre-exposure pre and post-exposure prophylaxis. It's not just for people who are, who are in long distance relationship. I think it's for every young person out there who is sexually active because you might not be in a long distance relationship, your partner might be close, but you don't know what they do because you don't track all their movements. So you just can't trust that, okay, this person is HIV negative until they are tested negative, they are positive. My encouragement would be uh, use it. I mean, it's you never know who you're with or what is happening or what they're doing behind their back behind your back or um anything might happen you know there's certain stuff that happens that is beyond your control and you can't control it and the fact that there is a drug that is there to help prevent it's a good thing for me so i would encourage people if there's anybody out there who's thinking hell no i can't do this i can't use it consider it just think about it for a bit and consider it pros and cons and then make your decision from there. For me, I, I would encourage those who are involved in risky behaviors, sexual behaviors, to actually um, take this opportunity that's coming to them because I know that there are some people out there who have pill fatigue, so are not able to take a pill every single day because again, 
once you miss a dose, it becomes very difficult or it, it, it kind of limits the chance of you actually reducing the HIV virus. So this is an opportunity for people who may have pill fatigue, who may have difficulties taking pills every single day to be able to access uh, a, a form of prevention for HIV through this injectable drug. Also, um, WHO has approved this drug. It has proven to be effic efficacious and it has been proven to be safe. Um, so it's really something that somebody can go for because other countries are actually um, using this drug. It's not just Zambia that's using this drug. I did mention that we're one of the five countries that are privileged to have been picked by PEPFAR to get this drug when other countries are also waiting. So it's, a, it's really a good opportunity for somebody who has um, risky sexual behavior to protect themselves from getting HIV.